Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minerais Beach series. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week and I'm using a kit from my shop. It's one of my favorite fall releases called Books and Coffee. So I do have the full kit which is six pages and I do have the deco add-on. So this is something that you can purchase separately or add to your kit. So that is what that looks like. And then here are the full boxes of the kits. What I've done is I've actually added two different types of overlays to them. So this one is the confetti bows from Rose Color Days in light gold. And then these are the double lines. I think this was from a sub box. Again, those are in light gold. And then I am going to be using the header overlays from Simply Beautiful Plans. I have four of them here. Um, these ones are light gold and then these ones are also marketed as light gold. However, I will say that they're more of like a champagne gold. So this is like a light gold from other shops and you guys can see that this is definitely more champagne to me. But it's similar enough that I think I can use it. Um, so I will talk about these later when I show you the headers. But let me show you the rest of the kit. So here are the full boxes, like I said. You have an extra box here. This is your bottom washi and your date covers, as well as your habit trackers. I have already pulled off the headers because I put the overlays on top. And then you have your flags, checklists more headers and sidebar options. These are all your scallop boxes. And then if you order the full kit, you will get the full box checklist as well as the solid boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The washi that I pulled this week is this one. And this is one of the perforated ones from Simply Gilded. I have the little caramel cups. This is a new release from Simply Gilded. Since my kit I'm using has a coffee and book theme, I really wanted to use this. I haven't used it yet. And then same thing with this one I haven't used at all yet. This one is the Earl Grey Tea Time one. Super cute. And then I do have a couple of book washi. This one came in the Luminous Library box and then this is the Matcha Green. So I may pull that in as well to bring in more of the theme. But this is how last week turned out. This is using a kit from my shop called Beach House. And I do have a plan with me up on my channel if you guys are interested. And I'm gonna pull my inserts out. These are from my shop as well. So if you guys are interested in the printables or the stickers, you guys can use my code. Save 10 to save 10% off. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with my bottom washi first. So this week, was a pretty busy week for me, both for work and also personal. If you guys have watched my channel for some time, you guys may know that I actually had my mom's death anniversary this week. So that happened on the Thursday. And so I did take that day off just to spend with family. I did end up working a little bit at the end of the day because there were some things that I really wanted to get finished but it was a nice day with family um, although I definitely um, was emotional and really missed my mom. I still can't believe that she's been gone for a year already. It was nice to just take a breather and relax a bit especially coming off of being sick last week and actually I did get a little sick on Friday. So um, I used the weekend to kind of recuperate again. Um, I don't know, I think it's just the stress. I've been stressed out lately, so I think that's been getting to me and not weakening my immune system or something like that. And it's also probably due to the weather because the weather is starting to change here. It's getting a little bit cooler. Honestly, I don't really deal well with cold weather but I live in a country where we have all four seasons, so I do just kind of have to suck it up. But I am so in love with all the artwork of this kit. It's so, so pretty. One of my favorite kits for fall, for sure. I just love all the muted colors, and obviously the books and coffee theme is my favorite. 
So these are the headers that I am talking about. I took the headers from the kit and then I put the overlays on top from Simply Beautiful Plans. Now I will say something about these headers very quickly. Um, they are not sized correctly. They are too wide and a little bit too narrow. So I think the measurement is off a bit. Um, but I still use them because they are clear and you can layer them on top of other um, headers. So it's not too much of a big deal. But if you're, you know, a, a perfectionist, then, you know, that may bother you. So we're going to go with the confetti bows today. I do have several other ones that I may pull in. But I definitely want to add the double box here at the top. I think that would be kind of cute. And I really love this scene here. It reminds me so much of New York. If you've never been there, I would definitely suggest planning a trip there because every time I go there, it's just so fun. So I am going to go in with caramel cups here and We'll pop that here on the sidebar at the top and bottom. I will go back to do the other headers. But I just want to see what the sidebar will look like first. All right, and then we're going to put a really cute girl reading her book there. I did not do that much reading this week because of work. And then I did have um, my mom's death anniversary, like I mentioned. So I was pretty busy. But I did read an advanced reader copy of Nalini Singh's new book, Archangel's Resurrection. So that was the only book that I read this week. So I'm going to grab a couple of these cute boxes to mark down my reading and also my focus of the week. And this Earl Grey washi matches really perfectly there so I like that okay so we do have a little gap there I'm gonna grab the perforated washi this is just from Simply Gilded and I will pop this here and we'll do the rest of the remaining days with that as well I think I need to purchase more of these because I'm afraid that I will run out of them I use them so frequently, so I think it's a good idea to have backups of them. I did reorganize my washi. I do want to get one of those acrylic organizers um, so I can kind of like display my washi. I think that would be cute, but I have so much washi that I, I don't know if I have enough space for it because I don't want clutter, you know. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna add the fancy box there and then the donut and coffee. But we have that down, let's get started with the sidebar. So I did have a few work events. I'm gonna mark those things down first. So Glory and Close to You were on sale this week. Again, you guys can purchase those on Amazon and they're also free on Kindle Unlimited if you guys are interested. I had some books to renew as well. So that took a couple of days to do. And then I also began outlining my next book that I'm writing. Very excited about it. I'm taking my time with the outline here just because I do want to make sure that I don't steer away from it this time. I don't mind um, changing things up every now and then with my outlines, but this time I really would like to stick to it as much as possible. So that's why I'm taking the extra time. Um, I did have two releases in the shop this week. So I'll talk about those on Monday and Friday. And then I did have my mom's death anniversary. So that was a day off for me. And then here, I'm just going to write down the book that I mentioned earlier, Archangel's Resurrection by Nalini Singh. And then I'm gonna use the little cinnamon bun flat lay there just at the bottom. So I think that looks really cute already. So now let's get started with Monday. This was the day that I actually started writing my outline. So I'm gonna grab a larger box for that. And I do have one of these writing bow icons. This is one of the new releases for my shop. 
So I'm going to write start crash into use outline. And that was the title that I finally decided on because I've been kind of going back and forth between that and a different title, but I felt like this one matched it a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I also finally did my shop bookkeeping. I have a paper shire sticker for that. And I always hate doing this, but it's definitely necessary as a shop owner. So I finally got that done. Um, I also did a little bit of filming. Let's bring a little bit of orange here. And I have a film script from my shop. And this icon, I think, is from Christine's Paper Studio. Um, I think she's closed now, unfortunately. I want to use some of these flags because I never use them. They have a cute little background to them. So I'm going to use this here, one of the smaller ones. And I'm going to mark that I started watching a TV show here. So that is from Paper Shire. Um, and then I did do some yoga. I think I want to use one of these minimal boxes. That might be good to kind of break up the little areas. And I'm using another Paper Shire sticker there. And then lastly, I do want to mark down that I had my new release go up in the shop. So this week I released more vertical weekly kits and then I also released some mini icons. So these mini icons are half the size of a regular quarter sheet, but the actual stickers are regular size. So it just makes for better portability. So if you want to take your stickers out on the go with you, you can. I've been putting them in like a small, simply gilded card holder and they fit so nicely in there. So I've been really loving them. Let me know if, what other type of doodle icons you would like to see in the shop because I am going to be making some more. So just let me know what you guys want to see. Moving on to Thursday gonna mark down my work event. I had Glory and Close to You on sale. And I thought I had a custom sticker made for that. So I'm just gonna layer that here over these cute calendar bow icons. Those are from Harriet Wright Designs. All right, so next up, I also did some editing. So for editing, I have an edit script from my shop and this bow icon is from White Deer Stationery. I'm gonna use another flag, I think, here. And we're going to mark down that I did work on my book. So I'm going to use a girl boss coffee icon. That is from My Little Puffy. I want to use as many coffee and book icons as I can this week to go with my theme of the kit. So I've marked that down and then because I actually forgot that Monday was Labor Day so the post office was closed I had to go this day and actually this week I went to the post office quite a few times. So this sticker here is from Fluffy Angel Stationery, which unfortunately is closing now. So I'm so sad about it because I was a PR girl for her. Um, but yeah, she's closed now. And then that post office script is from my shop. I did go shopping after that. Let's bring in a little bit of orange here. And I have a cute little Paper Bits Co. character. And then after that, I did just end the day to, with doing some laundry. So nothing super exciting this day. But the laundry script here, I think is from Harriet Wright Designs. And the bow icon again is from a shop that is no longer open. I feel like a lot of shops have been closing lately. It always makes me so sad when a small business closes. I don't know, it's just, as a shop owner myself, I do feel so bad when I see my friends closing their shops and things like that. So do support the small businesses as much as you can. 
It definitely means a lot if when you do. So again, that is from a shop that is closed now and then that custom script is from my shop. And then I did do more editing. I think I wanna use a scallop one. Let's grab this color here. So I have a little coffee icon. This is from Sweet Planner. And I'm gonna pull out an edit script. I forgot to do that for this one. So there we go. And then once again, I did work on my book. I like this color a lot, this light beige. I think it's really pretty. So for my writing, again, I have a bow bear icon from Fluffy Angel, which like I said, is closing now. Um, and then I did have a huge cleaning day this day. So I did vacuum the entire house as well as dust it. I did laundry as well. So I did all of that cleaning. This clean script is from Harriet Wright Designs in the gold. And then again, from the same shop that is now closed, it's a little um, vacuum icon there. And then I do want to mark down the two shows that I was watching this day. I started a couple of new series. so. Let's see, I'm gonna use one down here and let's use a minimal box for the other one. So I have a bow icon, this is from my shop. And then again, from that same shop that is closed, I'm just trying to use up all the stickers that I have from that shop because you can't get them anymore. So the two shows that I watched this day is Say I Love You and then Tanaka Never Falls In Love. These are both great shows that I would definitely recommend. So that is everything for the first half of the week. Loving all the colors, super pretty. Then let's move on to Thursday. So again, I did have a, an event. I wanna use the pink this time. So we'll pop this one here. And again, I have one of these Harriet Wright Designs calendars. These are great to mark events down so you don't forget about them. So I have that for in my dreams. I do also want to mark down that it was my mom's death anniversary. So I'm going to use this for the death anniversary and then this box to mark down that we went to go see her. So I have a little praying Tomashi Prince character here to mark that down. Again, a shop that is closed and then I am gonna mark down with my little family custom here that we went to go see my mom. And then when I return, I did do some designing. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to work this day, but I completed making some Hobonichi cousin kits. And then I am gonna mark down that I was working on my book once again. So we'll use this box. And then lastly, for the bottom here, I'm just gonna mark down that I did read because I got the advanced reader copy that day. So I'll be using this little coffee sticker from Teddy's Plants Co. to mark that down. And this bow icon of the stack of books is from my shop. Okay, so on Friday, I was working on some listings this day in the morning because I hadn't finished them from the previous week. And then I'm going to mark down that I did continue working on my book. So I'm gonna use a little girl reading her book from Teddy's Plans Co. And then this day I did get a message from the post office saying that I had a package to pick up. The thing is when I went there, it was closed. So that was really annoying. So I ended up just going to the grocery store, like right next to it. So I'm gonna use this kind of like annoyed Tofu the Panda sticker to mark that useless trip. Um, but then I did go grocery shopping, like I mentioned. So I'm gonna use the swatch sticker for groceries. And I think this sticker here is from, I wanna say like Paper Crown Planner maybe. And then I'm going to mark down that I did watch a new show this day. Um, I'm gonna go in my little album here to pull out another sticker. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? Maybe this one here. 
That is from Paper Shire once again. So I'm going to pop that down here. Um, and then I'm just going to mark down that we had new releases go live in the shop and I released four new daily duo kits. So if you guys are in those planners, you guys can find those kits now in the shop. So again, I'm going to use this little event sticker from Harriet Wright Designs and a new releases script. Let me know what kind of stickers you would like to see in the shop. Like if there a specific planner you would like to see them in, would you like to see more journaling kits or doodle icons, let me know. On Saturday, I did do some filming in the morning. I filmed a memory spread. So I filmed and then also edited that. I think I'm actually going to use a flag sticker for that because editing does take quite a bit of time. So I have a Van Sticky filming girl there and an edit one as well. So they're pretty cute, so they kind of match. Um, I did also have a show that I watched this day. Let's use a minimal box there. And I'm gonna use a sticker from My Little Puffy. Or I think that might be Mochikichi actually. Um, and then I did have to take some product photos for the pink planner sale that I'm going to be taking part in next month. I had um, some promotional pictures that I need to submit. So I took those and I have a cute bow icon that is of the camera from my shop. Um, and then I did watch a movie this night. So let's see, what can I use for that? Let's use a little bit of orange. So for the movie, I'm gonna use another Van Sticky character. And then I did just end the night with a face mask. So I'm gonna use this self-care day sticker. This is quite large, but I felt like the color match. So I'm gonna mark down face mask here. That is from Lovely Mine. And then now let's move on to Sunday here. Sunday I did print and cut because I didn't actually print and cut this whole entire week um, so I saved all of that on this day so I have a Teddy's Plans Co sticker and a print and cut script for my shop um, and then this is the day that I actually went back to the post office because I needed to pick up that package right I'm gonna mark that down here with a little bit of gray and the package that I received was from Sweet Deer Stationery is my PR pack. I'm gonna use a larger sticker for that. So this again is from Fluffy Angel Stationery. She's closing, the post office script is from my shop and then this bow icon is also from my shop. And we're gonna put Happy Mail. And I think that's a little plain there. So what I'm actually going to do is stack the book stack actually behind that so it has something against it. And that way the bow icon will stand out. So that's a little bit better there. Um, I did also do a little bit of journaling. Let's use this color. So I printed out all my photos from my phone and I just sent it to my printer so I can put in my Hobonichi. My Hobonichi should be coming on Monday, which I'm so excited about. Like you have no idea. Um, and then um, I did plan for next week. And that's really important. I can't miss this. So I have one of the doodle icons that's from my shop and then the planning time script is also from my shop. And then I also uploaded the memory spread. So this little cloud planner is from Scribble Prints Co. And then I have a little plan with me live, which is also from my shop. So that is everything for my spread. I'm gonna pop this back into my planner now. So here is my finished spread for the week. I love all these colors and I think the gold is just the perfect match for it. I'm really glad that I was able to bring a few of these gold icons. Um, some of these are from shops like I mentioned that are no longer open. So I do just want to use them up because you can't get them anymore anyways. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me video. If you guys are interested in any of the stickers or the printables from my shop, you guys can always use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.
Bye, guys.